creating a cut using a datum plane. First, select the datum plane, then click the solidify command. You can flip the direction of the cut, and when you're happy, hit the check mark on the dashboard. Using flexible modeling to change imported geometry. This part contains an import feature. I'll activate this cross section so you can see that it contains a number of blades. In order to change the number, I'll click on the Flexible Modeling tab, then I'll select a seed surface, then I'll use the Bosses Recognition tool, and now when I click on the Pattern Recognition tool, from the Options tab, I can check the box to Allow Edit. I can change the number of instances and the spacing. Hit the check mark from the dashboard, and the part is updated. The Thin Through All Extrude. This is an interesting little trick. So I have this sketch here that's located on the top surface of the part and extends beyond the boundaries. I'll select the sketch, and then use the Extrude tool from the mini toolbar. Let's flip the direction, and I want to make this as a solid feature and I will thicken the sketch. Let's change the thickness to 0.25. I'll use the flip button on the dashboard so it's symmetric about the sketch. And now, if I right mouse click over the depth drag handle, when I change the depth to through all, the extrude trims to the boundaries of the part. I'll use the middle mouse button to complete the feature. And I can even take this feature and pattern it. Let's change the pattern to a direction pattern. I'll turn on my datum plane visibility so I can select a plane as a reference. And let me change the increment and the number of instances. When I complete the pattern, you can see that all the instances are trimmed to the parts boundaries as well.